Okay, in this video, I'm going to do something really quite simple. It's basically showing you how to kind of animate a machine gun turret. Okay, um, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to really simplify this down to just showing you how to how to create the gun action rather than uh, model a whole turret and all of that kind of thing. Because I'm I'm assuming if you got if you if you're here, you can probably just make a fairly simple turret with a box or a or a cube or something like that and, and and make it as detailed as you want to but this is just about the action of the machine gun itself so let's just have a look at look at what i mean here okay so that's kind of what i mean and as you can see i've added some sound effects i'm not going to show you how to add the sound effects afterwards it's just to illustrate how it kind of works so all I've got here is um, just to demonstrate this by the way there's not much detail involved I've basically created two uh, cylinders you can see that one there and this this one here um, again you, you can probably add more detail if you want there's no reason why you shouldn't do that um, just to illustrate how it all works basically um, so here's one cylinder as you can see slightly larger than the other one here's the other cylinder and at one end of the cylinder I've just made it a little bit bigger just to kind of create that kind of uh, a gun kind of feel at the end there nothing too complicated about that so what we do basically um, you have kind of um, this is this is the action we want to achieve so basically in, in, a, in a kind of a recoiling uh, gun barrel action the the bullet shoots out from the from from the barrel there and what happens is you get the recoil action here to absorb a lot of the shock it goes backwards and then it goes forwards again and that's kind of one uh, bullet cycle if you like and we just want to repeat that a few times but in a, in a kind of gun action way so I'll just show you how to do that here so the first thing we do uh, just select our barrel okay we're going to come to a point say let's just make it one second in um, and I'm going to click so that's, I'm, I'm saying one second in that's 30 frames in um, so I'm going to click I for insert oh sorry my problem there I for insert and then it's location and then I'm going to move this barrel I'm going to move this on say three frames one two three um, and I'm going to just move this to the to the back here so let's just go there and I'm going to insert again I for insert location and I'm going to move it on three frames one two three and then I'm going to move it back to roughly where it well actually not roughly where it was i'm going to i'm going to highlight this one here click control and copy and then con, uh, that's control c by the way and then control and v for paste and hopefully it's well it should have it would have returned exactly to the same point okay all right so that's kind of one cycle that's one bullet shot um so but we want to repeat that a few times don't we so the, the way i would do that I'm going to go from the timeline view here into the graph editor view there okay now this is where we have to kind of understand a little bit about how how a recoil action works just to make it look fairly realistic to the eye because the eye believe it or not even though it might it, your brain won't it, 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 if you don't get it right the brain will th it, it won't compute with the brain so what happens is when you get the initial say bullet shot here the the barrel immediately shoots back whereas if you look at the graph here it's not immediately shooting back it's curved let me just increase the scale of that so you can see it a lot better there we go so the way we change that is if you right click on here and click handle type and then click vector you can now see it's a it's a sharp kind of going it's not moving and it's a sharp um, movement away a, a very angular movement there and we need to do the same at the other end here so click on that right click handle type and then vector okay now if you can watch this as I move it along it kind of it, it the bullet bullet fires it immediately leaps back and now we get this kind of parabola curve where you get a spring there's a, basically a spring in the um in the barrel here so it kind of almost like a, a dampening and a spring effect bounce back and there we go it's back to its original position but we want to do a few of those so the way we do that let's just uh, move the scale a bit I think I'm going to do five of them really easy to do five of these um, as I recall 
just click control and copy there we go move that to the last point there and then control and V for paste again move it to the last point control and V for paste control and V for paste and control and V for paste there we go um, so let's have a look that's it and you might want to leave so this is what happens here do, 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 let's just play it Get the space there we go and if I want to introduce a few more further on like so all I have to do here is control and C for copy pick my point where I want them to want to start up again and then control and V for paste okay there we go and let's just press play and there we go simple as that now that's how simple it is like I say you can you can obviously you can double these up which is a you know you can make two barrels once you've made one just just duplicate it and, and, and copy and paste one barrel off to the right if you want uh, another quick uh, thing to do if you want to move this around you can always um, create a empty so uh, if you want to control the barrel um, so you click uh, shift and a for adding a mesh I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add a um, an empty there we go I think I will add a cube cube like so I'm gonna put it at the back here I'm just going to, uh, and all we have to do now is parent um, these two items to that cube. So if I click on there and then click Shift to the to the empty uh, and click Control and P, um, set parent to object. There we go. And I'm going to do it again for this one. So click on the barrel and then click Shift on the empty there we go and then click control and p now it's a set parent to object there we go so now if i just click on the object here it's click on the empty i can kind of rotate this let's rotate it in the x axis there we go like so so now you can animate your your gunner any which way you want to if you like so let's just rotate that in the x and let's just press play again see what happens and there we go let's stop so a really simple way to kind of create a uh, a kind of gun action going on there uh, thank you very much hope you enjoyed it